Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Quick introduction guys, well, we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission here at the shop guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys you will find the information helpful. So let me show you guys what we need to do first. Right here we have uh, two screws that we need to remove. Okay, you can see one coming out. Now second one guys. He's coming loose. Okay, now right here underneath that flap, we need to remove it. Now things get a little bit more complicated and I will explain in a second why. Because we have the USB cable and the auxiliary cable here guys. So now in order to disconnect them, you can you have to reach from the back, but you cannot reach from the back unless you remove two bolts. And I will explain where those are now. So, removing this one now. Okay, let me just grab those screws and pull them out. Okay, so they're not in the way. Okay, perfect. Now guys, let me explain, okay, what else we need to do. So now guys, we're going to leave that thing up, but you cannot pull it out, unfortunately, okay. It's not possible because we have the cables, okay, the cables for the uh, right there for the uh, USB and auxiliary port as well. So now right here in the back, okay, you just lift it up. And there is, okay, two more that we need to remove. Two more screws like that, guys. So let me see, or I'll be able to pull it out. No, I will be able, it will come out, guys. So uh, once I disconnect them, okay. I'll show you what needs to be done. Okay, let me just grab a screwdriver now to push in here. Okay, you can see that thing comes out. Now, how you attach it, guys? Okay, right here. Okay, let's focus here inside now. That here, guys, that black thing, okay, it slides up and down. This is for the USB. Okay, when it comes down, like that, Okay, you unhook it guys, and it comes loose. This thing right here, okay, you just press in here and you pull it out as well. And you can see that thing will come out. So let me show you what to do next. So now we, we have three screws that we need to remove towards the bag with a few of screwdriver guys. One. Two. Ah, I just dropped that one. Good thing it's still here. Number three now, right here. And the armrest lid should come out. Okay, almost, almost coming out, guys. Okay, let me get that bolt loose. Perfect. Now if I come towards the front and pull it out, okay, you can see guys, the armrest slit came out of the car just like that. With that uh, cover out of the way now, guys, let me explain why we did that, because right here now we have two hidden bolts, and if you do not remove those bolts, you're going to break the hose, and uh, later it may not close good, and uh, your arm, armrest lid cover may not function correctly guys so what i'm going to do now okay right here in the corner there is just two okay two screws that we need to remove okay perfect just like that so one is almost out okay black screw guys like that okay check it out now we have one more right there this is the second one Many people will not think about that because most of the ones the back just has clips but this one has screws otherwise you cannot remove it. Perfect. Now I grab it and it has four clips. We grab it, pull it out. Okay and this is your cigarette lighter outlet. Okay down there. So what I'm going to do now, okay right here, we need to press in. Okay let me press in and disconnect it and I'll show you guys. Okay, that thing right there, okay, 
that's where you press and disconnect it and this is guys okay right here your cigarette lighter socket now you can see <coughs> the power outlet as we're going to work right here on that trim removal okay so let me show you okay what we need to do we need to get a plastic panel removal too guys and now right here okay we need to pop a couple clips loose okay one came loose now more here on the bottom i'll start towards the back now right here hopefully we can get a few out you have to be careful not to break your heater controls because it's trying to push up but actually what we need to do okay we need to come out and up so you will see in a second okay this one is stuck a little bit here okay perfect now we go up like that guys we're going to flip on the other side i'll disconnect the switches and show you what i'm doing give me just a second now okay to see exactly okay how this one is i need to get a small screwdriver okay and that wire now right here we just need to pry it gently to come out this wire on this side is a little bit easier that uh, grip piece you need to push it back push down okay and disconnect it that piece comes out now what else guys we need to uh, remove here why we need to do all that okay because the center console actually you can see is bolted right here so what we'll need to do next okay let me go get a screwdriver the power electric screwdriver so i can guys uh, remove easily next uh, few bolts so i don't waste your time because we'll need to remove guys okay you can see that cup uh, that uh, not holder mm, like coin holder whatever it is that storage compartment right here we need to remove these two screws so i get the same seven millimeter socket now that we've been using but i'm just gonna put it on the screwdriver so it saves me a little bit of time okay one screw there one here the same screw is on the other side so i'm going to leave that storage compartment up okay and i'll just leave the screws here so i don't lose them next guys okay right here we have one screw that we need to remove but okay now things got even more interesting that center console it's not an easy thing to replace guys and and i'm going to explain why let me just make sure that this thing stops okay this ball will need to come out this screw okay perfect now one more on this side just like what we had on the other side okay right here perfect now let me see if we're gaining anything here okay to make sure that it's not coming with the dash okay perfect so far guys so good we're done here now let me explain what else we need to do okay that now emergency brake needs to be lifted up now we're going to move that seat all the way to the front and we'll move the passenger seat all the way to the front too both seats need to go to the front guys okay let me just get my screwdriver and i'll explain why so both seats to the front now we come to the back okay and here remember where we removed a few things okay now right there let me just show you quick we have two more screws that we need to remove on the right side okay and one here perfect now exactly the same thing needs to be applied okay to the driver's side okay right there so one here okay and one over there now guys if you try to move your center console up 
It should actually start lifting itself up, but I was trying to see if we actually needed to remove that piece. Let me see now. Okay, it looks like it's loose on this side. Now, let's come to the passenger side. Okay, right here. I'll get the screwdriver because we're going to need it again. And you'll see where. Okay, and... Now here, guys, I'm going to screw that seat all the way to the back. Okay, I know, it's a little bit of a chaos. But here now we need to remove one more cover. Okay, this cover. How it comes out, I usually pull on the front, here on the bottom. It has a few clips. Okay. So, let me explain where the clips are. Okay, you have one, two, three, four clips, and two that go kind of like that under the other one. Now, with the same two guys, with the same screwdriver, I'm going to remove... Okay, right here we have one more bolt that we need to remove. One more screw, excuse me screw or bolt practically the same thing so what we need to do now we need to go to the uh, to the passenger uh, to the driver's side and we need to do exactly the same thing okay so let me focus quick because the camera is a little bit foggy okay perfect now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to remove that one too okay that cover okay this one came out now with that thing being out, guys, I can remove that screw right there. Okay, the screw is out. Now, we're going to attempt to remove the center console now. So now, okay, if we lift it up, okay, let me see if it's going to come out of here, guys. We have a few cables still attached. One of them is for the cigarette lighter that I'm going to disconnect. Okay, from... Okay, right here. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, give me a second because... I cannot actually get my hand in there from this position. Okay, perfect. Now, if I lift it up more... Okay, here it looks like something is still holding and this is guys, I have a few clips holding Okay, the wiring harness To the center console So I need to see Okay, how that's gonna come out now one of them came loose Okay, another one came loose one more. Now right here, one more clip holding. Okay, that wiring harness in place. And now it looks like the only thing holding, guys, okay, is the emergency brake handle that eventually came out. Now let's come here closer and show you where all the clips were. Okay, one of the clips was holding here, okay, for the cables. The other one was underneath right here, guys. I unhooked those and you can see this came out. Now those are the clips I was talking about, just two clips right here, you can see. And that center console, guys, okay, comes out just like that with no problem. So once you guys remove the center console, okay, check it out, it's right there. You can see this is the module guys, not very complicated to reach. So what we are going to do now guys, okay, let me just, okay, focus on, uh, okay, like that. Let's stay like that and see if we can do that. Uh, 10 millimeter socket guys, I would recommend to have the car battery disconnected, okay, when you do that, because uh, when you work on your electrical system, always guys disconnect your car battery. One nut with 10 millimeter socket. Now, I'm working on a second nut here. Perfect. Now, guys, we're going to go ahead, lift it up. Okay, and we need to disconnect the cable. How we do that? Okay, a little bit tricky. That white thing, 
Okay, let me try to focus on the module only. Perfect. That white thing, okay, it will need to slide back. So let me grab a screwdriver quick because this is a safety lock. Okay, it's coming up on this side, a little bit on that one now. Perfect. You can see how it slid back. Now I'm going to push in and disconnect it. Okay, yeah, you can see this is the module out of there, guys. So that's how you guys remove it. Uh, putting it together practically is in reverse order. We took it apart, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.